bookaholics, it's Isabel and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about my favorite authors that I have found through booktube. I've been on booktube for a little while now and I found some really great books through booktube but I've also found some really great authors. So I just want to share a few of my favorite authors that I have come across during my time in booktube. So let's get right into it. So the first author I want to talk about in this video is Angie Thomas. Angie Thomas is the author of The Hate You Give and On The Come Up. Let me just say I absolutely love, love, love her books. Her writing is so authentic and so heartbreakingly real and really delves into the problems of black youths and what they're going through. I cannot relate at all, but it's nice to be able to read through them through the fictional characters that she has come up with and through her own struggles that she has. I really really love her books and I cannot wait for her new book that's coming out. I don't know if I would have initially picked up Angie Thomas right away if I didn't know about it through booktube. So I'm really happy I found it through booktube and that I pre-ordered it and it was so exciting and I'm just so glad I went with it. Angie Thomas is definitely one of my favorite authors that I found through booktube. So my next favorite author that I found through booktube is Taylor Jenkins Reid. I I haven't read some of her other ones that she published before this but I have so far read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I've read Daisy Jones and The Six and I absolutely loved them both so much. Her writing is impressive, very very involved and really dives into the character psyche. I really really love her work. Especially The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I was impressed by her writing. I was impressed by how in depth she went into Evelyn Hugo's character, really how much struggle she went through, and just the character of the journalist who is reporting on her and giving her the chance to write this biography. I'm absolutely in love with Taylor Jenkins Reid and I really cannot wait to pick up her other books and whatever other books that she publishes later in life. My next favorite author that I found through booktube is Becky Albertelli. I didn't even hear about Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens agenda before I started watching booktube and then when I started like actively doing booktube that's when I really started to hear about this and I didn't know what it was about I learned about it and then I just absolutely had to buy it so I bought this one read it right away I fell in love and then when I heard that she was coming out with more books I was so excited I read the upset of unrequited absolutely loved it wasn't the biggest fan of lay on the offbeat and I've just read yes no maybe so they're not the best ones that could have come out of her but I absolutely loved what if it's us so Definitely some hits or miss with Becky Albertelli, but I still consider her one of my favorite authors because they're just so much fun. And I think I'll always be biased towards Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens agenda because I absolutely love this book so much. Becky Albertelli will probably be one of my top authors for a while because of this. The next author that I probably wouldn't have found without booktube is Marissa Mayer. Before I started booktube, I had seen this around. I had seen it around, I read the synopsis, and I was iffy about it. I was like, do I want to read this series? I don't know if I really care for it. I don't think so. And then I started booktube, and I started really like listening to what people were saying about it and how great it was, and I got curious. So I ended up ordering this from Book Outlet let's just bypass that. That was me before everything happened. So I had ordered this and the two other books in the Lunar Chronicles. Read through them, absolutely loved them, waited until winter came in paperback so it would match all my other paperbacks, and then read winter, and then I've read the Renegade series, and I did read Hurtless, which I didn't really care for. But yeah, I will absolutely definitely read Marissa Meyer's book from now on, and at least give them the try, because I really, really enjoy her storytelling, and I enjoy her characters. She really dives into the plot. Like, I absolutely love the Cinderella, and the Snow White, and all the fairy tales that she brought into this world through the Lunar Chronicles, and I absolutely loved her take on the superheroes and the Renegade, series. I'm just so happy I found this author and I will definitely read her next series that comes out whenever it does and I'm excited for it. So the next 
author that I found through booktube is Adam Silvera. I first heard about Adam Silvera when this book was coming out. Everyone was talking about it, everyone was just praising it, and I was very very curious and I absolutely loved this book and it made me curious to find his other books. So I have read They Both Die at the End, I read What If It's Us, and I do own More Happy Than Not. I haven't quite gotten to read that one yet. Adam Silvera was definitely one of my favorite authors that I found through booktube, especially because he's able to write these characters and the emotions that they feel was just amazing. I loved it and it really made me emotional, especially this book. This book had me feeling all the emotions throughout the whole book so I'm really impressed by that so I'm really happy I found this author and I'm really happy to find out what else he does. I'm not too sure if I'll read his fantasy ones. I'm not too sure I'm just not in the YA fantasy feel right now. Maybe eventually but I haven't been, been, been in that kind of mood in a while so I'm not too sure if I'll actually get into that one. I definitely am more of a contemporary girl so I'll definitely be keeping my eye out for more contemporary books from Adam Silvera. The next author I found through booktube is Christina Lauren. So Christina Lauren, I didn't even know she had these whole other books before I found about this one. So I learned about this one through booktube and I was curious because I love the synopsis of autobiography. And then I learned that she had a lot of romance books and so I had read this one, absolutely loved it. And then I was kind of curious to read her other books that weren't YA because she didn't, this is her only YA book. I guess I should say this is their only YA book since it's two authors. So I've dived into a lot of their romance books and they've mostly been ones that I really enjoy. There's been a few hit or misses but generally I really enjoy them. I have so much fun with them and I will probably pick up most of their books and try them out because they are great and I love them. The last author I want to talk about is Victoria Schwab slash V.E. Schwab. I was not initially really all that interested in some of these books that she wrote, but then I did read This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab and I really, really enjoyed it. And so I was really curious to continue with this duology. And then I heard so much stuff about Vicious by V.E. Schwab, which is the same author, just this is her YA books and these are her adult books. What's sad is that she has to do V.E. Schwab because she wouldn't have sold as many if people knew that she was a woman who wrote these books, which is awful. But I really, really much appreciate how much work she's been putting into and just how much she's showing that women can write great um, fantasy novels. It's just sad that they have to hide behind their own initials, you know? But absolutely love her books. I've read Vicious, absolutely loved it. So much character driven and really like just oh, this book's hard to talk about because there's just so much that goes on in it that's so psychological and it's done so well and then she also has a darker shade of magic series i've read the first book i'm really excited to read the second book and then she also has her ya books all of them are fantastic they really delve into the characters and the plot and it's just such a fantastical and just really dives into the character's psyche just like Taylor Jenkins reads like really dives into the psyche and just is phenomenal at characterization so V.E. Schwab and Victoria Schwab are definitely authors that you should keep your eyes out for so those are the seven authors that I found through booktube I'm so happy I found them through this channel and I'm able to share it with you guys because these authors are amazing I absolutely love them I'm so happy I found them and I'm so happy to find more authors that I can fall in love with through this booktube channel that I have so let me know down below your favorite authors um, whether you found it through booktube or through some other channel let me know down below in the comment section give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you know whenever I post another video and I'll see you guys next video bye